Can you build muscle using just your body weight? The main argument is that body weight training is just not capable of creating enough resistance in the muscles to induce muscle growth. Firstly, there are a lot of calisthenics exercises out there that are beyond the strength levels of most people, and obviously those are a great candidate for building muscle, but what about for general people who don't know all that stuff and just want to build muscle without a gym? In this video, we will look at the body of evidence surrounding low load resistance training and try to answer the question, can you build muscle using low load only? My name is Nikki, this is QED Fitness, and before we start, hit that subscribe button, or not, I'm not your boss. We'll start with the 2017 meta-analysis of all peer-reviewed articles that compared low load, which was defined at less than 60% of your one rep max, to high load resistance training. The paper ultimately included 21 studies, and the researchers found that hypertrophy or muscle growth can be equally achieved across a spectrum of loading ranges. This review alone is a good start to convincing most people, but for the skeptics, there's even more. Another meta-analysis of 28 studies with participants that both did and did not have training experience showed that the amount of hypertrophy was not dependent on the magnitude of the load used. In other words, low load training is just as effective. And yet another review with 15 included studies showed that muscle gains were similar between high load and low load training in older adults. Now obviously some of the studies used in these reviews are the same, but here we have trained research scientists analyzing other scientists' work and coming to the conclusion that low load training is just as effective as high load for building muscle. I mean, it's enough to convince me, but maybe you need more. Okay, what about more elderly people getting jacked? How about low load training is as good as velocity fatigue training for tricep and chest muscle gains in a bench press only program or even if the sets were taken to voluntary failure by young women. <sighs> All right, I can't do any more. So what about people with training experience, you ask? Well, guess what? Four separate studies show that using low load produces similar gains in muscle to high load. And yet another meta-analysis hot off the press in 2022 analyzed every paper that looked at the hypertrophy effect of low load training on people with decent training experience and found hypertrophic adaptations were similar irrespective of the load magnitude. But I think at this point you may have guessed that. Clearly the evidence is saying it doesn't matter if you're old or young, new or experienced, Metallica or Megadeth, low load training is just as effective as high load training for building muscle. But it didn't seem to matter how low the load actually got until it got to about 20% of your one rep max. And this equates to about 40 reps before you reach failure. And when I say failure, I mean form failure. Form failure is just the point in your set where if you keep going, your technique will begin to break down. This kind of intensity has to be reached in the majority of your sets to induce the muscle growth we are after. Because when you're training with a heavy load, the majority of your muscle fibers are recruited from the start. But at the beginning of a low resistance set, only the low recruitment threshold muscle fibers are engaged. But as the set progresses and those low threshold fibers fatigue, the body has to recruit more and more of the high recruitment threshold fibers. And if we keep going over the set, most of the muscle fibers in the muscle will be exposed to the tension stimulus and that is what will induce hypertrophy. So that just means we have to take our sets relatively close to failure within about 30 reps. Now there are a few drawbacks to low load training. Well firstly, a question you might have is what about strength? Well for strength gains, high load resistance training is better than low load resistance training and it comes down to a matter of specificity. If you want to get better at lifting heavy weights, you have to lift heavy weights. Another drawback is that these high rep sets are going to be extremely taxing mentally and physically. I mean, I never said this would be easy, but some of these sets are definitely going to make you question your life choices. But if you really want the results, you have to put in the work. However, I will be honest with you. It's not going to be easy to build the body you want, but hopefully after all of this, you can see that it is at least possible. If you are losing motivation to pursue your fitness goals, I hope that this video went some way into encouraging you that it is possible. You just have to hold up your end of the bargain and put in the work day after day. So if you enjoyed the video, I'd love it if you subscribed to the channel and shared the video. If you would like to support the channel, you can do so on Patreon or Buy Me A Coffee, both of which are linked below. My name's Nikki, this is QED Fitness, and remember, knowledge is power. Catch you next time.